In Georgia, you can find many different types of fruits and vegetables grown in backyards. With our mild climate and plentiful sun, we have grown accustomed to homegrown commodities. Well, research is underway in Tifton to add even more variety to our landscape by including Georgia-grown citrus. The monitor's Mark Wildman has the story. This is Dr. Wayne Hanna. He is no stranger to agricultural research. For decades, he worked with USDA ARS, where he was part of the legendary turf grass team that engineered some of the best turf grass, that is beautifying golf courses, sports fields, and other landscapes all over the world. He has retired from USDA now and is at UGA, where he still works on turf grass, but is also focusing on citrus. His philosophy has always been to create useful products that benefit consumers whose taxes fund his research. And what is more useful than picking fruit right out of your own backyard? Most people kind of enjoy being able to pick your own fruit in your backyard and uh, being able to, say, even brag about a little bit that you have your own citrus in the backyard. And I know in my own case, the grandkids from uh, Roswell and Augusta, they love to come and, and pick the fruit and eat the fruit in the backyard. So it's, it's, it's just a lot of fun. His goal here was to take a variety of tangerine and a variety of lemon that have proven to be winter hardy and make them seedless. He feels consumers these days demand seedless fruit. These two that we're working with, the Aishang lemon and the Changsa tangerine, uh, these were types that weren't really commercial citrus, but first of all because of the seed. And so, uh, but they're winter hardy. We can grow them here in Georgia. I mean, in the southern half of Georgia, not north Georgia, but in the southern half we can grow them. And so, uh, about five years ago, uh, I decided I'd see if I can make them seedless. By making these two varieties seedless, he feels they can be marketed in nurseries and consumers would choose them for their own yards. Somehow people just don't like a lot of seed in their fruit because I guess they're used to buying seedless fruit in a grocery store. These fruit here are seedless and uh, as uh, we, we talked a little bit earlier is that uh, what you need to have uh, less than five or six seed per fruit to be technically seedless. And uh, these particular ones here uh, meet that requirement. We have an uh, Aishang lemon here. This is one of the early fruits on this, uh, this part of the uh, experiment here. And uh, it also has winter hardiness, not quite as much as the Chengsa tangerine, but uh, it uh, looks like it's gonna take an extra year before it starts uh, producing fruit. And we can see uh, one on at the top of the tree that's a very uh, tasty lemon. Uh, and uh, it's uh, large. Uh, and, but it has large seed, and so we're trying to make it seedless like we're making the tangerine seedless. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, I think it's going to make it possible for uh, whoever wants to grow a, a seedless tangerine and, uh, or a lemon in their backyard all across the southern half of the, uh, of the United States to be able to do it. There are currently citrus trees sold in Georgia, but not all will do well in Georgia's climate. Dr. Hanna says be very careful when choosing your variety. Uh, there are types out there uh, that uh, can be grown if with a little protection. Uh, the ones that we're working with uh, probably don't need to be protected. Uh, they'll gr grow without protection. Uh, I guess the one thing that I would uh, caution uh, people that get pretty excited about uh, planting citrus this year would be be careful uh, what you buy uh, because some of the citrus is not winter hardy. Uh, it looks pretty with fruit on it in the in nursery, uh, but uh, it won't uh, grow. The trees that are being grown in this study are good for Macon South, and the time frame for bringing them to market is about three to five years. After that, you will be able to do what he has done in his own yard for the past 30 years, and that is enjoy good citrus every day. In Tifton, I'm Mark Wildman for the Georgia Farm Monitor.